Hello everyone, we will continue the topic enhancements and modifications and we are learning how to create our own new body definition and then body implementation. So we created the body definition, we developed the program and in the last video we did the implementation also. Now we will see in the debugging mode is the program is giving the output as expected or not. So I will put a breakpoint. I will run the program. I will go to desktop 3. I am currently on 12th number line. You can see as of now, the object is initial. The object has not created yet. I'm doing F6. Now you can see the object is created. This is the statement to create a object. Now, if the object is created, can I call the method? Yes. Because if you remember, this method is a instance method. And it always requires an object to call the method. Now, if I want to go inside this method, which key I need to press F5. Now you can see this is the logic which we have written. Yes, this is the logic which we have written. And what the value we give? We give P value is equal to X. And you can see P value will assign the result to LV underscore value. And you can see LV underscore value is X. And this is our output. And have you seen? We have not changed this program at all. Previously, we have not changed MM02 code. We implemented the body. Same thing is here we implemented the body and the program is giving the expected result x. Now, now we will go for additional learning here. Now we will go for one more scenario. Then we will come on to the conclusion. Now, suppose I have a customer. We have a customer. That customer has an office in two countries. One country is US, another country is Japan. Okay, whenever US, whenever the people from the US is running the program, this program should give the value X. Whenever the people from the Japan will run this program, this program should give the value 5. Now, we have a customer which has the offices in two different countries. For US region, this particular program should give the value X. For Japan region, this program should give the value 5. Now, we already created the first implementation. We gave the value what? X. Now, can we create one more implementation? Yes, we can create one more implementation. If you remembered, when we created the body definition, we take multiple use. It means we can create multiple implementation. So we will create the second implementation now. So we will simply, simply go to which transaction code? SC19. You all know. SC19 is the transaction code to create the body implementation. Again, huge learning, important topic from the interview perspective. Now, we will give same to same enhancement spot. Our spot is same. For the same body definition, we are creating a new implementation now. Now, I will give some name to the enhancement implementation. Suppose for the best understanding, 
I will use underscore two all for this new part so that we can so that there will be no confusion. Now I will write enhancement implementation two. Now we will go for okay. I will save it as a local object. Now I will create new body implementation. So I will write underscore two as we are creating second body implementation. Now class name also I will write underscore two. Now body definition is same to same. For the same body definition, we are creating second implementation. Or if you want to go for more understanding, same interface we are using in two classes. I will double, I will go for OK. I will save it as a local object. Now we will simply click on to implementing class. I will double click on the class. I will go to change mode and you can see same method appeared into this class also and how the interface method are appearing interface name tilde operator method. Name. I will double click and write the logic. Now for Japan customer, yes, but the value we need to pass, we need to pass P value is equal to Y. And you can see we created two different implementation. Our body definition is same. Our interface is same. We are going for different, different implementation. Totally OOPS concepts, totally object-oriented programming. So our class is active. Now I will activate the enhancement implementation is also active. I will verify. I will copy this name. I will simply, simply see from here. Okay, it is active. So our second implementation is also active. So what is the summary of the video? In this video, we took one additional requirement that a customer has offices in two different countries. And whenever the customer will, whenever the customer team of US will run this program, the value will be capital X. And whenever the customer team from Japan will run the program, the, this program should return the value Y. Now, based upon that, what we did, we created one more implementation, which will be applicable to which region? Japan region. And we activated each and every thing. In the next video, we will see how it will impact the output and what is the solution for the same. So that's it in this video. Thank you.